Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk by George. In today's video, we are going to review the latest Rice Droid update. Many thanks to Ion for uh, compiling the update for our juice or kind devices. So first of all, the quick settings, it looks similar, but you can arrange the quick settings um, rows into um, two, three or four, something like that. So basically, you can change the layout of the quick settings, but everything looks um, normal. So everything looks stock. Now the ROM comes with G apps, the G apps version I am using, one lie is also, also available. The ROM is not bloated with a lot of G apps. But one advantage that you are going to have is you are going to get the o, o, OS styled or o, OS styled um, dialer that we are familiar with the um, with the with the Octavio OS. So basically that is an advantage for you. Now, even though the ROM is GAPS version, it is not bloated with quite a lot of GAPS. Then coming to the launcher, the ROM is using a Sushi Launcher. You can customize and the ROM, uh, the launcher itself has many customization. So likewise, you can change the icon pack over here. So if you want to have an another icon pack that is being inbuilt with the ROM, that's called a Sims icon pack. Definitely, you can do that. Um, home screen you have many customization if you want to enable and disable um, search bar and if you want to enable and disable the hot seat background that is this one yeah even the icons that really looks cool look i have changed the icons into sims icon bike from the default one it really looks cool then coming back to the app drawer you will have you can customize uh, many things like if you want to change the, uh, the 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 icons into themed icons that you can do then reasons you can arrange the grid style in reasons and uh, uh, you can customize some information also then coming to the miscellaneous you will have the um, haptic feedback on reasons and launcher blur radius Really, the launcher itself is having many customization. So let us go to the system information now. As you can see, um, the 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 security update is of 5th of August 2022, and the Rice version is 12.1. The kernel that I'm using right now is 4.19.177 legendary kernel. There is no particular reason, but I just want to test the kernel. But it, the kernel itself is quite smooth, to be honest with you. So let us go to the settings. First of all, you can customize the settings page into different styles. Then uh, coming down, there is a customization option over here. Likewise, I have told you the ROM comes with many customization. Then buttons. Well, if I am trying to go through uh, each and every customization option, definitely it is going to take quite a lot of time. Then coming to the uh, miscellaneous thing game space is there swipe to screenshot unlock fps higher fps in game unlimited photo storage is there then navigation notification re-trigger option is available with the row quick settings yeah here you can modify many things you can modify the size of the quick settings header clock font which is this one and uh, date font you can customize battery style battery estimate if you want to enable or disable that happens over here then you can adjust the brightness slider position you can enable and disable auto brightness icon so if you want to have the blur background you can definitely have the blur background likewise like this Now uh, clear out notification button and you can also select custom styles for it and you can arrange the quick settings layout into two three uh, columns likewise yeah four is the maximum that you have and four looks like this and if you want to change the label alignment that also you can do the quick settings style alignment by enabling this toggle so that is about the quick settings then sound then status bar customization, clock style where you want to display the clock. If you want to uh, disable the background for the status bar clock, you can enable and disable by this and you can even customize the uh, clock font size. You can enable or disable logo 
on the status bar network traffic monitor then data disable icon blah 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 yeah wall light icon you can customize the wall light icon into different styles like this then if you want to enable and disable colored icons there is an option for it then battery styles you will have quite a lot of battery styles and even you can adjust the status bar paddings too then the last one is user interface you can uh, turn on and off ambient display charging animation settings background style and setting style you can select uh, um, five different styles uh, monet settings fonts there are quite a lot of fonts available with the uh, rom 2 then icon packs then signal icon icon shapes and Wi-Fi icon style so uh, these are all these all are the options that are available with the uh, ROM now coming down under the battery session you will have the rice droid idle manager where you can save some battery and you can also you know customize the battery options as per the individual application then coming to the security you will have face and fingerprint uh, unlock available and uh, you also have application security so you can um, protect apps then uh, quick unlock is also available with the ROM now coming down to the um, to the system you can customize the gestures system navigation into two button and the three button then gesture navigation then there is also another option like ristroid lab you will get some couple of uh, um, couple of uh, options or couple of toggles to enable and disable so these are all the customization customization option or options that are available with the rom and even you can you under the sound and vibration settings you have dirac sound enhancer available too so um regarding the uh, regarding the security let's have a look if the rom is being uh, encrypted or not no uh, either rom is not encrypted by default so this is how the rom looks like and honestly speaking it's an amazing rom it's very smooth rom if you want to use it as a daily driver of course you can use it as a daily driver and it also passes the play store certification so let's show you that let's go to the settings and yeah the device is being certified so everything works cool and it's a great rom if you want to use it as a daily driver of course you can use it as a daily driver many thanks to the maintainer of the rom i am for compiling the rom for our devices once again i would like to thank you for watching my review and please make sure to subscribe to my channel and press the bell button that you won't miss any future updates